I have a, I have a lot of thoughts about AI, and I was going to ask you about Dolly. I yeah. I am optimistic, and I know that there is a heavy dose of skepticism on the edges yeah. that I have to have. Um, but I think something like Dolly is a great, interesting example because it let's just project out it gets better over time. Yeah. Right now, Dolly can generate photorealistic thousand by thousand pixel images with a text prompt. Sick. Is that art? That's like kind of the question right now, whatever. Yeah. But let's say, let's fast forward. Let's say now sometime in the future, it can give us like a 30 second clip, like a video clip, yeah. moving clip. Yeah. Then you fast forward to the future. It gives us like a nine minute YouTube video. Yeah. Keep fast forwarding. It's giving us the Patriot Act. It's giving sure. us shows. It's giving us a, a comedy special. Yeah. Is that watchable? Is that art? Is that creative? What yeah. is that So, even? So my opinion is when it is more robot than human. To me, I define art as a human expression of emotion that helps me understand the world and what it means to be human. Mm -hmm. Loss, pain, jealousy, and anger, envy, love. Those are the things of what it means to be a human being, a sentient being on planet Earth. And sure, AI could maybe like masquerade as that. It and draws does that, from all previous human expressions. Yeah, that. and does that matter? Yeah. To me, the, the, the thing about a movie or a poem or a song that moves you to tears is the fact that those words were, were belted from a human being. They're expressing the pathos and the emotion of what it means to be human. Mm -hmm. That's why people are crying at Adele concerts and stuff. Like mm -hmm. they can tell that Adele is, is singing from a place of pain and it's not Dolly that is like, you know, programming and, you know. I'll toss this at you. There are yeah. entire... Do you uh, care? I mean, do, you, do, do it seems like no, you're, just, I, you're just more stoic about it. You're just I, like, I don't care. I I'm a, I know that I'm a less sentimental person. I don't think <laughs> I'm fully on cold robot side, but uh -huh. I am I am I am shifting that side of the spectrum. I can I can tell. Uh huh. There are entire YouTube channels like VTubers where it's not a real person. Yeah. It's a it's an animated person. Yeah. With scripts written by AI. Yeah. That just self generates new videos and people subscribe to it. Not and all become, of the bar. Just to but clarify. these exist. Yeah, okay. Some of these exist and people subscribe to them and become fans of them and get invested and watch them and care about them. Yeah. And they're not people. Yeah. How how is that sure. how is that real? And you're right. And maybe like it's like hey Mario and Luigi aren't real. Like they are just video game characters. You know, yeah. Pikachu is not a real thing. That is a, like a cartoon. Human creation. Human creation, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think what we're talking about, though, is the fact that Mario and Luigi were created with the human touch. Mm -hmm. And there was that kind of feeling. And this goes back to, like, ancient tradition where there is this, I think, somehow inherent belief in us as human beings that we we are the the creation of of God and we are a representation of that. And when we create worlds, it's that. But you, you seem like, do you feel like you'd be like, yeah, that's fine. I would subscribe to an AI generated channel if it was good enough. I do think I would not subscribe to it and I'd prefer the human version, the human generated version. I just mm -hmm. can't articulate why and I can't figure out why. It's kind of like the, the VR question of like, if VR becomes so immersive, I think Neil deGrasse Tyson asked me the same question. If VR becomes so immersive yeah. that it completely covers your field of view, that perfectly matches your vision, it you have headphones on that you can't feel, you hear everything perfectly, yeah, ready, it immerses all seven ready senses, player one, right? you think you're yeah. in a new world, yeah. it is perfectly realistic, will you still feel the need to like, like if you observe the Grand Canyon through this VR mm -hmm. and then you take the headset off, will you still feel like you've seen the Grand Canyon? knowing that it's VR, even though it's a perfect yeah. representation through VR. Yeah. I, I, I still feel like I want to see the actual Grand Canyon because look at the thing. Like that's amazing. Like that is, you get to visualize the river carving out the canyon and the whole thing. Yeah. But like, I've seen it already. I don't know why, but I still want to see the real thing. I can't figure out like how to articulate why. That's my problem. Yeah. So I, I like so, the real thing. I just. Do you want to know why, why I think it is? I would love that. So um, the internet and technology created an idea of infinity. And the reason why life is beautiful is because it is fundamentally limited. Mm. This may be like the last interaction we have and there's something beautiful in that. Mm -hmm. Or like when you say you love someone and they say they love you back, there is that inherent risk. There is that skin in the game of like, I don't know if they are or they're not. And the fact that our memory and our existence is finite makes it beautiful. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you can play The Legend of Zelda and just hit restart 
it doesn't have that feeling. And that is the only hope that I have going forward. The feeling that like technology and um, the companies have tried to mimic the beauty of humanity as best as they could, mm -hmm. but pornography will never feel as good as the the, the touch of a, a person that you love. It just won't. Mm -hmm. and, and no matter like how many tabs of, sorry to get crass, of it you want to open, mm -hmm. it just won't. Like I still will be sitting in my boxers ashamed. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. Uh, obviously a really fun conversation with Hassan. Hassan's already subscribed to Waveform, so if you haven't already, what are you waiting for? But also let me know in the comments what other guests you'd like to see. Conversations like that are super fun and I think we want to do more of them on Waveform. So let me know. Type it down there.